Welcome to my cellar. I'm Matthew Fagan of winesandtunes.com and in this video I'm going to be reviewing a NutraChef wine cooler. Uh, I purchased this product several months back. Uh, it's a small 17 bottle wine chiller and there's some pros and cons uh, to it. So if you're in the market for a reasonably priced wine cooler, you're going to want to watch this video. If you're a big Riesling fan, uh, as well as drinking some uh, Burgundies even, this wine cooler may not be for you because the bottles don't always fit. Let's start with the pros. You have a range of 50 to 64 degrees Fahrenheit to store your wines at, and it holds the temperature very well. Uh, another great feature is that it has a very good ventilation system, so the unit's very quiet. Some of these smaller units can be loud, uh, but this is also pretty compact. You can put it on top of a desk or something. It only stands about two feet tall. Uh, another great feature here is it holds 18 bottles, four of which you can keep standing up. That's great for ports as well as wines that you've opened and maybe the cork is sticking out still. One of the things that I overlooked when I bought this unit is that the wine bottle diameters can only be a maximum of 3.4 inches in diameter, 12.6 inches uh, long. As you can see here, here's a sort of a, a squat bottle of port, which is too wide and it won't fit in. Um, most bottles are perfectly fine, but if it's too wide, like a champagne, burgundy. So here also on the length, you have this German bottle of Riesling, which is longer than 12.6 inches in length. So you're not going to be able to close the door when you have that. As you can see, the workaround is to take out some other bottles and turn your Riesling sideways. Now this is helpful to store that one bottle, but you just lost two bottles. So if you don't have a lot of bottles and you know, that might be a workaround. All around the pros far outweigh the cons, especially the price at $160. Uh, I got this on Amazon, I'll include the link below. So yeah, I'd say the pros far outweigh the cons. It's a good little unit um, for great everyday drinking. In the next video, I am going to be exploring port wine. Everything you want to know about port is up next. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that port video. Thank you for joining me in my cellar. See you in the next one.